प्राइवेटाइजेशन पेशेंट विद स्पिट फिक्सेशन एस आई बी नोट डॉक्टरमी इज ए मोस्ट कॉमनली परफॉर्म परफॉर्म सर्जरी एंड आफ्टर दैट ग्लाकोमा सर्जरी दिस लॉस ऑफ विजन कैन बी ड्यू टू इन्फॉर्मेशन कैटेक फॉर्मेशन हाइपोटोनी एंड मेक्लोइडमा वाइप ऑफ फोना में एज एडियोपैथिक लॉस ऑफ सेंट्रल विजन डॉक्यूमेंटेड इन सिग्निफिकेंट परसेंटेज ऑफ द आई आफ्टर द एडवांस ग्लाकोमा सर्जरी वन एक्सपेक्ट एट द ओल्डर एज ग्रुप हिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉर्नरी सर्जरी कॉर्नरी डिसीज सीवियर सीवियर पोस्ट ऑपरेट हाइपरटोनी स्प्रेड फिक्सेशन ऑन एच एफ ए सो वट एवर द टिल नाउ वर लिटरेचर सजेस्ट रिपोर्ट द विजन लॉस आफ्टर द फिल्टिंग सर्जरी हैव बीन लार्जली रिप्रोस्पेक्टिव एंड मे नॉट हैव द मॉडर्न टेक्निक एंड स्टैंडर्ड टू एवेल्यूट द हाउ वाई द पोस्ट ऑफ विजन इज लेस सो एम ऑफ अवर स्टडी टू असेस द इंसिडेंस एंड आइडेंटिफाई द कॉज ऑफ द विजन लॉस इन एडवांस क्लॉकमेट स्पेशन विद स्प्रेड फिक्सेशन विद इन थ्री मंथ पोस्ट ऑपरेट आइडेंटिफाई द रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ विजन लॉस इन आईज विद अंडरगो ट्रैप ट्रैप वर्सेज ट्रैप एस आई सी एस एंड टू असेस द पोस्ट ऑफ to assess the visual outcome and improve the patient care so primary object of our study to assess the incidence loss of uh, uh, loss of vision vision loss post operative complication iol secondly of to assess the need of post operative intervention and assess the risk factors so the patient included who have the split fixation or the threat to fixation one or more quadrant and have the good visual field reliability visual acuity more than 660 and prevent the trap si so trap fico the patient who have the visual acuity uh, who can't do the visual field testing or the patient who have the retinal or neuro neurotic disease and proper complication or new skull ka avoid it these are the standard uh, success criteria apart from this criteria we took the iop level less than 18 and less than 15 mg and iop reduction less than 30% and 40%. So these are the basic characteristic we we include this though this retrospectively study the BCBA IOP number of any glaucoma medication and top post op complication and the study uh, did the follow up up to the one year two year and three years. So what the split fixation the sensitivity of 0 degree 0 dB in any four of the closest point of 1 degree in 10 days to feel and what is threatening of fixation sensitivity of more than 1 degree 1 dB and less than 10 dB in any four closest point of 1 degree of the visual field and these are standard su surgical technique has been used the phonic wake surgery either the fico trap or the sic trap so the post operative vision loss was characterized mild when visual acuity decreased by three lines compared to pre op while in the moderate visual acuity drop by the four to five lines and the severe visual acuity severe the decrease of visual acuity characterized when we have the more than five line vision loss or we have the poor visual acuity like the hand movement or finger counting so the permanent vision loss is defined when vision visual acuity do not have the return to the at least three lines within the six month of follow follow period and transient if the loss of three or more line external visual acuity had returned to three lines Uh, during the post op period of the 3 months so these are the basic characteristic diagnosis most of the cases are the <coughs> open angle glaucoma angle closure and pure exfoliation and these these look at the i look at this the iop control from 19 mmg to come to the 12 mmg in the fico trap group by in the sics group 26 to the 12 so this is this is the only highlighting thing if you look at the uh, visual acuity decline at the 3 month so the only three patient of the one line decline and uh, 43 have same and uh, one line improvement in 20 patient more than one in 11 patient while in the uh, um, <coughs> at the 6 month of uh, follow up period there is a two line decline in one cases one line decline in three cases rest of the patient either have the same vision or visual acuity has been improved and look at the success criteria so these are if you look at the different level of type criteria at the ip less than 18 ip less than 15 or 21 mmg so success at around 85 85% into the fico trap group a uh, 80 sorry 85 group or the 70 group when we have used the most stringent criteria ip less than 15% and and similar kind of success uh, report into the sics group also and the most common intervention are the lsl suture removal or the blab needling and then coming to complication we have the four so called treatment that can managed by con conservative management so coming to wipe out phenomena if the incidence has varied in the different study possible mechanism interruptive ocular hypertony leading to optic nerve damage and the microemolic episodes in the present study we found there is no significant sudden and the sudden or severe vision drop were observed post operatively series were managed conservatively so these are the study have suggested suggested that snuff out or wipe out phenomena is hyper most of the time is a progressive macular thinning and the another study uh, presented by Ronnie George of group and they shows the visual visual loss after the glaucoma surgery is very rare and reversible phenomena so um, the we found in our study the high probability of success rate observed in both group and few case required the intervention like the uh, blem and the sense instance we analysis the both fico trap and the sic trap so just to conclude 
just in the, uh, that the surgical surgical technique doesn't signify impact the post operative outcome. Sudden unexplained vision loss, wipeout phenomena is rare. Further prospective studies are needed for the larger sample size to confirm this phenomena after trial. Thank you so much. We're a little bit out of time, so we have to go to the next. Uh, I think we call upon the uh, next speaker, uh, the, uh, Dr. Vapor.